Okay, um, welcome to Gru, and thank you so much for taking time out of your day. Yeah, your thanks. Night. Thanks for having me. <laughs> no, wait, it's still day where you're at, right? <laughs> yes, it is. Very bright day. Yeah. <laughs> So, so like the first thing I want to start out asking you probably is a question that gets asked a lot is like, how, how did your passion start for, for wanting to, wanting, wanting to do voice, voice work? Yeah. Voice work in particular. Um, so I grew up acting and my dad was actually an actor too. Um, so I kind of like watched, you know, like I, I remember going to the set when my dad was filming so it was always kind of like on the, you know, in, in the back of my mind. Um, but um, it, I grew up in New York and I would, you know, I was, I, I was in school one day and I got picked to be in this show. And I loved doing it so much that it was like this NBC show. And I loved doing it so much that, you know, I asked like my mom if I could, you know, act professionally. And she said, you know, yes. And um, so having grown up in New York and having access to like, you know, showbiz and like, you know, auditioning for films and voiceovers and TV and everything, I kind of discovered a love for, well, I always loved acting, like the actual craft of acting, but I particularly loved the freedom you have when you're doing voiceover. And it, it can just be, it, it, cause it's kind of, it's kind of like theater. You know, it's kind of like Broadway. And so I also grew up like, you know, going to Broadway shows. And so, I don't know, voiceover just kind of was everything I loved in one kind of. And yeah, it was like reminiscent of Broadway. It was um, still acting. And then I could just like hide and just like do what I love doing, but without anybody seeing me, you know? So it's kind of like that. I kind of, I kind of was drawn to it for that, for those reasons. Okay. Yeah. So you, you pre, pre, pre for like doing, doing voice, voice acting o over like, you know, being on screen. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, maybe sometime in the future, maybe I would do some sort of on camera thing. If I was like, you know, directing my own film or something, maybe I would do that. Um, but yeah, just voiceover has so much more freedom and, it's it's just a better lifestyle to be honest <laughs> you know i have friends who do on camera and like to shoot an episode of something you're yeah. gone for you know a month or a couple weeks or whatever and you know to do an episode of an animated show it's like you know an hour to four hours like oh. of a day so you could do multiple shows like you know you could be on nine ten fifteen shows at once and 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 it not you know you you can't with voiceover you can't do that with on camera so yeah, yeah there's little secret perks <laughs> oh, wow okay yeah so how how does how does it work like how how does how does voice voice acting work like like you know how how does like a typical day like start with with doing it yeah so as I mentioned, I mean, you can be on so many shows at once. So, you know, I mean, it just depends, like, again, like, and also like, you know, it's also like, you know, has peaks and valleys, like within a career. Um, so it could be a super busy time and it could be, you know, a slow time, but, you know, typically I'll have, you know, maybe I'll do like, you know, two episodes of something in a day and I'll have like nothing the next day. And then like three things the day after that. And then like, one thing the next you know it's so it's it's just it varies it's it's it really fluctuates a lot but it's great because now i get to work from home this is where <laughs> it happens right here and um it's oh, just nice because what sorry i think i think I, 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 I broke up. oh sorry <laughs> yeah i was like I, I was like wow like that's that's really cool like, you, you can act like you you do the voice work from from home in instead yeah. of going to a studio yeah like i literally can roll out of bed <laughs> and go to work which is pretty awesome yeah i mean i used to go to a studio all the time um but, but i'm you know slowly going back like I'm going to a studio tomorrow morning you know 
going to a studio and Thursday, like, yeah, like I'm just, yeah, maybe we'll, we'll slowly get back there. I don't know. Who knows? It's so weird. It's, it's so different. You know? <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, so like how, how do you actually find your voice? Like when you're, you're getting ready to, 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 to voice someone like how, how do you know how to make your voice match to that, to that role? So usually you'll get, like, if you're auditioning for something, usually you'll get a character description and, and sometimes they're pretty detailed and, you know, a, like a, a drawing of a character um, or like the artwork or, um, you know, sometimes you'll even get like an animated clip like that has like a temporary voice in it or something and you know you just kind of play around with it and you just have you just trust your instincts and like come up with a voice and i don't know i i focus on like you know the personality traits and really try to layer like um start with like nuanced layer of the character um who is this character like what are they, you know that kind of dictates how they sound and you know maybe they had there's like you know a certain way that this character talks with like pausing or you know maybe there's like a speech impediment or it just depends on like what the character looks like you know and yeah it's so fun to build one though it's because it's just playing it's play you know yeah definitely <laughs> and and how how do you how do you train your voice for for do you do anything like i i heard like a lot of people do like the the hot tea and honey like do do you do you do at anything like like that oh wait hold on i'm reaching for something um i found out about this stuff recently it's like this weird um i don't know what language that's in but oh, yeah. it's like this <laughs> it's like this weird syrup oh here this is the name of it like phonetically um it's i i never heard of that. Paper. <laughs> cool. i don't know but i know that there's like interesting like accents like like emphasis on certain like shishe it means something different like mama it means something different like than mama in in uh in chinese at least anyway but um yeah like i, I you know you have to try and take good care of your voice so i try not to go to concerts <laughs> you're <laughs> screaming or like go to loud parties you know like that destroys your voice like the worst possible thing like after going to a convention all weekend i always my voice is shot but um but yeah like just you know tea and um vocal rest is so important just to make sure you rest your voice for a little while so i try to be cognizant of that <laughs> <laughs> So, so yeah, you want to limit, limit your like screaming, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So like, you know, hopefully my children are behaving and I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you know, you have to, you have to tell your kids, you, you have to be good because the more mommy screams, the more she can't do her job. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know, and I, they just started putting it together, like what I do. Um, yeah. So, like, I'm on this new show, um, Eva the Owlette, on Apple TV, and so you know, new show. I'm excited to to watch it and show the kids. And like, Dad, my son is so cute. Like, they'll be watching it together. My daughter's two and a half; she doesn't really get it yet. But my five year old will be like, "Mommy!" from like 18 rooms away, like. I'm like, oh my God, what? I go and he's like, I heard your voice again. And then he like asks me to do the voice. He's like, do baby Mo. I play the I play the mom and the baby. And he's always like, do baby Mo. I'm like, oh my God, I'm like getting this. I'm even getting this from my kid, like do the voice, you know? So I'm like, <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> and then he practices too. So I'm like training him. I'm oh like, my good God. job. You really sounded like a baby. And then we play baby for like, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. It's yeah. So, you're... so cute. <laughs> That's like really amazing, though, how you could get your voice to do that. Like you just doing that sound. 
But it, 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 if no one was watching this and just listening to it, they would think a real baby was in the room. Oh, totally. I could do the best prank calls, like <laughs> like a whole scene. The baby's crying, the kid is there, the mom is yelling. Like I can do this, the whole set, the whole scene. <laughs> I should do that. I should. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but, but you could also do like, like dogs and stuff too because you were in you were in the the film the uh what was it? The, the film with the dogs i forgot what it's called now oh um well i did a couple of things where i played a dog i was in like puppy dog pal i'm sorry not puppy dog like pound puppies a long time ago pound puppies um i did a dog with a blog but mm-hmm. which movie with the dog do you remember i i think it was like the doll the the dog 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 with the blog the, oh okay wait where are you from philly oh okay i knew it was east coast your accent is amazing amazing <laughs> the dog with the blog amazing. i mean if i ever have a philly have an audition i'm calling you because okay. Okay, I your help with accent i just like i'm just gonna repeat i'm just gonna do your accent it's so good <laughs> but I, I'm, I grew up in New York, so like I, I'm used to oh, East Coast really? accent, but that was different. That was like, that was different from what I was used to. You know, I'm used to New York, like yeah, like in the Mario movie. You know, yeah. hey, uh, you know, the mom, you know, she's like, oh my, you know, what is this pasta from a from a jar? No way! Come on, what do I look like? And then there's like uh, the, the the lady from the commercial. She's like, you know, Mario, you know. The Mario Brothers plumbing, da 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 da. You know, call call one eight hundred, call nine one seven. And I love that the that the area code is even New York. So good. Call nine one seven today. Yeah, New uh, York. Like, uh, wait, you 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 did the voice for that too? Yes. Yeah. Oh my god, get it hot. Yeah, I, a friend. Yeah, and apparently there was some like talk on Twitter, like they were trying to figure find out who it was. And my friend just like alerted me to this, and, and they thought it was like the voice of the original um, Princess Toadstool. Wait, or oh. Princess Peach? I um, wait. Hold on. They thought it was. I will let you know. <laughs> uh, let me find out her name. Uh, they thought it was. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. It takes so long. What is? Sorry, never mind. Okay. I'm sure I'll find it after. Anyway, the, I, I want to give her credit because I people like were excited that it was her, and I want to give a respectful shout out to her. Oh, Jenna Ellis, Jenna. Okay. Jenna Elliot, Elias, E L I A S. Anyway, um, it would have been cool if it was her because she was in the original one, but um, but it was me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, but but I love the fact that like the Mario film brought in Charles, the original voice of Mario. Like the fact that they, you know, respected the original voice actor. Like that just yes like as a voice actor i'm like that was awesome that they did that you know they give him like a nice part and he was like the original mario i think he might have been that little guy the guy who looks like mario but a different version um yeah. yeah but yeah that was that was awesome that they did that the directors are so thoughtful and detailed and like this movie has so much heart you know you could just oh, feel it yeah Definitely. i i I, I sold him the film because my young, younger cousin wanted to go see it. And, and, and I, I remember I was like, first, I was like, I don't know. I was like, well, if you want to see it, I'll go see it. Cause I, I loved the television series that was like out, out years, years back. Oh yeah. And, mm-hmm. and, yeah. And, and, and I was like, yeah, if you want to go see, it, I'll go see. It. And then, 
I wind up liking it more than him. (laughs) (laughs) It's one of those movies, man, that it's like, it just strikes a chord because it's, you know, it's good for kids. It's good for us, like who grew up on, you know, playing Mario. It's just, it's just, and it's perfect timing for the movie too. So it's, you know, just what a, what a joy, like after, you know, the crap three years we've had and then like, just to come roaring back, like, you know, th- this was like the perfect movie, you know, to, yeah. to it, like, and it was perfect timing and it was just, yeah, I'm sure they probably worked on it. I wonder when they started working on it, but I mean, I recorded my parts like, you know, definitely during the pandemic. Um, oh, really? Yeah, not in like the very beginning of the pandemic, but like toward the middle, but like it was definitely like, oh my God, like we're going into a studio. It was still just like such like a a thing. We'd take a temperature to get in and like, remember those days? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I don't want to remember those days. <laughs> yeah. It's like... <laughs> It's just, there's so many like specific things that I've already forgotten. <laughs> and I, yeah, I never want to remember. Yes, but we'll laugh about it when they do like a period piece film about like funny parts of the pandemic, you know? And we'll be like, I remember that. Because <laughs> <laughs> like when, when you were playing Mario's mom in, in the film, like do you, you got that voice down so, so good because I'm, uh, Italian and I have an uh, Italian mother of course and 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 that like when it comes to pasta and <laughs> or, I say gravy instead of sauce some people yeah. say sauce some people say gravy but like when when it comes to pasta and and gravy my mom is like all right she's serious you know oh yeah and, and you you nailed that like oh the pasta from the jar and the, I mean the gravy from the jar and sauce from the jar like like you nailed that Italian mom like perfect thanks <laughs> my um we also take gravy uh very seriously in on my for my Italian side of the family um you know my last name is Di Chico after all yeah. um yeah. my yeah we have like a secret family like gravy recipe um or or as my dad calls it the boss sauce um and and each (laughs) like my dad has his version the boss sauce and then like cousin sorry uncle gary has his version and they're different but similar and then my grandma helen had her god rest her soul she had her version of it and it's just so fun like you know like and there's just like constant like um uh what what's the what's that like you know oh god I, I can't think of the word but constant um bickering about like who not that's not the word but there is bickering about like whose sauce is better it's like constant <laughs> anyway but um but yeah like that's I, I I had I definitely have have had a taste of that like Italian <laughs> Italian family life so yeah that was so so fun to do and especially <laughs> like you know and i remember like yeah so my, i brought my kids to go see the movie and like they like my son kind of put it together i'm like i'm like dash what do you have in common with mario and luigi you know i'm like you have the same mom and then he's like does that okay and so he thinks that mario and luigi are his brothers oh my god that's so funny yeah So I kind of want to make like, you know, overalls with like another color, like the yellow. Oh, he's yellow. That is him. Oh my God. What's it? What should his name be? Like Vincenzo or something. Yes. Mario Luigi Vincenzo. Yes, definitely. (laughs) Definitely. That definitely has to be an an Italian name. That's perfect. Right. Oh my God. (laughs) I'm totally doing this. Oh my God. That's so good. And he'll be yellow because I played the yellow mushroom in the movie, the yellow toadstool. Brilliant. (laughs) Brilliant. (laughs) (laughs) I can't wait. (laughs) And and then you could have that big uh, Italian family dinner, like, like they have it in the movie. Yes. Yes. 
Oh my God. I want to recreate this scene. This would be a great yeah. YouTube sketch. I think we've got to do it. Yeah. I I was cracking up laughing with the the dad when Mario leaves and the dad's like, what did I say? <laughs> okay, you can play the dad. You'll be the dad. I'll be the mom. My kid can be Mario and like the, the other siblings, the unknown siblings, Vincenzo yeah, yeah, and that. Gabriella. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait a minute. Mario had other people in the family? What? <laughs> 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 yeah there's this whole universe like i see that it, it was so fun to like watch the movie and see like meet mario meet mario's family you know right? his mom his dad his 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 cousin it was just so funny i loved it it was so nice he was like yeah. you know he's like an old friend yeah exactly right like we go back <laughs> mario <laughs> Like, like me, like I, I, I grew up playing video games. So like I, yeah. I grew up with like Mario, like that was, that was the video games that I always played. And, 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 and then like the television series came out and then, and, and then the, the, the film came out and now the newer film is out. And, and like, like, so, you know, you, you, you grew up with Mario and the video games and the yeah. series and the films. So, so yeah. He's been there our whole lives. And uh, <laughs> that's why I, and it's like, and it's like a very intimate relationship you have with Mario because you like play the video game. You are Mario. You are, that's what I loved about the movie. It's like that, that scene where he's like trying and he's like slowly getting better. I'm like, yes. Like, this was like a good chunk of my life you know like if you add up all the time spending <laughs> time spent playing the video game and like getting better and going through this like training pro like you know this like training process like like mario went in the in in the film you know um but anyway yeah so it's like you have this intimate relationship with mario because you've exactly. played him like you you've improved you, you you conquered like together as a team or like you as him it's just so yeah it's i feel like everybody kind of has that closeness that like weird sense of closeness even if it's subconscious you know oh oh no yeah definitely definitely for sure yeah and and, and, and like you you also voice video games and and uh so do, do you ever play the video games that your voice is on? Um, so no, because I, <laughs> but for a reason, like I, I, I played, you know, 8-bit old school, like Nintendo, you know, growing up and I stopped there. Like, yeah. honestly, like the next gaming system was like the, the remote was too complicated. I'm like, I can't, I just like the simplicity of the like Northwest, East, South, cross thing and then like the a b that's it that's all i want but do you i don't you remember like super like super nes like the, like the, yes. the remote got so complicated with the things on the sides like this kind of <laughs> like right that, here yeah. like they added those things i'm like what is that no can't i'm sorry so <laughs> i stopped and also i spent so much time playing video games like i didn't want to go to the next you know i didn't want to graduate to the next one and i'm like yeah. scared to like introduce it to my kids because i'm like okay this is gonna be like a new thing in our house that just takes up days and days and days i'm sure oh yeah it, <laughs> i'm it's... sure it's inevitable but yeah i'm sure it will happen at some point and then i will be reintroduced <laughs> and then i will get to play the video games that i'm in but okay. I, I, do, I voice, um, yeah, like I've been voicing, um, you know, like the Sims video games yes. for so long. So like Sims 4, they like nicknamed it Sims Forever because um, there's just like so many expansion packs and <laughs> like that has been awesome, like just to be a part of that franchise for so long. But there's no like, it's weird because like there's no character that I can like identify with because as a player you change the character and like you yeah. customize the character so like the only thing i can like relate to is like a little that little green diamond thing i mean 
kind of sucks because like I love having a character, you know, like so. My I, characters. I see that. Yes. <laughs> that's a collection of like the um i've collected like all the plush that i've done that i like that my characters have been turned into and then i have some toys which is like so fun wow yeah that's, that's really cool that's yeah nice nice i like ignore that, that part. <laughs> <laughs> that's the messy part i need to get a new piece of furniture because it's clearly like only good from like the top shelf up so <laughs> ignore 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 wait, which way am i going this way okay, okay. <laughs> and um you you're also a big part of deem of demon demon slayer like yeah you're in the video game the series the film and yeah and like how, how how does it feel to be part of that great i mean Demon Slayer happened like after I like I went to conventions for a long time and that's where I've kind of would meet anime fans and yes. it's like you don't really I can't like I don't come in into contact with you know fans unless I go to the conventions so I, I did Demon Slayer I haven't been back to the conventions yet I think I'm going to start going again um but yeah so I haven't really like been able to interact with that many demons demon sire um fans okay. but i mean it's it's very cool to be part of such a huge project and you know franchise um but yeah i, I um i want to like it, it's interesting because like each fandom has their own like personality you know like there I, I could tell an adventure time fan from like a mile away <laughs> Because oh, I really? got to know Adventure Time fans like intimately. Like I spoke to so many people and like, you know, like you, you really talk about like what they love about the show and like, you know, and, and and so I'm excited to get to know different fandoms. It's it's like a breathing thing. It's so interesting to me, you know, all the different fandoms, you know. There's always wow. like kind of like a silver thread connecting everybody within a fandom. So, so like how how can you tell which fan is 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 to which show? You just like it's just like I, I would like okay. So for for instance, like I I I went on this like um segue tour once, and I was there um with my husband who wasn't my husband at the time, and I'm like I bet you this tour guide the Segway tour guide is an Adventure Time fan. <laughs> I, I, like after hearing him talk for like a few minutes, I'm like Adventure Time fan. So we like waited for, and I was like, and then I asked him, I was like, hey, do you do you watch Adventure Time? And he was like, and then, and then I said a couple of lines and he was like, and he like, cause you know, like Adventure Time, like people loved that show and I, I knew it. And he like freaked out and he knew, and like, yeah. And, and, uh, and I was right. And I just like I've like really <laughs> sharpened my skills in that in that department. Um, but yeah, he he was just very with, with Adventure Time specifically. He was like very detailed. Um, he he had like you know he had this like energy and this excitement about him and like a a certain like excitement for life. I, I can't explain it. There's something very like bubbly and like happy about a lot of the Adventure Time fans and. There's also like a very cool, like a coolness about them and like they're, they're easy to talk to. It's like very interesting. Like anyway, but that's, that's, that, that's that show in particular, but. <laughs> okay. You definitely know how to, to pick, pick, to pick the fans. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> that would be, that would actually be like a fun, like talk show um, challenge for mm -hmm. a, a panel of voice actors to guess like which fandom each each like fan you know like a couple fans can come on the yeah. show and then like the the voice actors will have to guess like which fandom they're a part of oh wow that, i'd be that, curious that to know yeah that what that would be a lot of fun yeah right i think i'm gonna ho i'm gonna host it maybe we can co i'll come back on your show and we'll host it on your show <laughs> hey, yeah definitely okay <laughs> 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 and 
I'm a really big fan of wrestling with WWE, and mm -hmm. you did the voice of one of the best woman wrestlers, Becky Lynch. Oh, what show was that from? The Camp Camp WWE. Yes. Camp WWE. Yes. Yep. That's awesome. <laughs> so, did you love that show as like being a fan of wrestling? Oh my god! The show yeah. did, did the show capture like what it Definitely. is you loved about wrestling? Definitely. Yeah. That's awesome. Those are some good directors then. Like if they can capture like the essence of it, that's what I think the directors of, um, you know, Mario did. They just like captured the excitement that, that we had for playing the game. You know, it's, yeah, it takes talent and skill to do that. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Like, like, that, that, <laughs> and, and I, I on, on another show, I, I, grew up watching was the the tur teenage mutant Nin yes. ninja turtles and, yeah of course and, and, and you did the, a, a voice for the newer show too yes yep i did um i think my character had three episodes it was like a three arc a three episode arc and yeah that was yeah. awesome because i also grew up you know with an iteration of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I think the original. Um, was it around before yeah, that? Yeah, oh, that, that was the original, true. right? Like yeah, late yeah. 80s, early 90s? Yes. Yeah, yes. okay. And man, that was so exciting. Yeah, just that whole time was like, it was so exciting. There's so many like new shows and new properties and yeah, really creative, creative fun stuff. I and like even, even like the 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 shows the, that you know we grew up watching like the teen, teenage mutant tur turtles mm -hmm. and they they add new characters as like newer newer shows are coming out like you know they're not going to have like the old 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 character but they're going to introduce new ones and yeah and and you played one of like the new newer ones yes yeah it's always, it's so I've had I've had a lot of experience like playing the newest addition to like existing characters. Yeah. Like for instance, Muppet Babies. Um, yes. I was I on the most recent series of that. I played you know Summer Penguin, who was like the new Muppet Baby. So mm -hmm. that was super cool because to be the original voice of like a new Muppet was just dream come true you know um man that was exciting um but yeah it, it's always fun to be a part of something that you already know the characters you know you know you know who you're talking to who you're acting with you know their personality how they're going to react so it really just adds so much more nuance and depth to like what I'm able to bring to it because like, I know who I'm talking to. It's like yeah, a very yeah. familiar character. Yeah. So who, 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 who the new character is interacting with. Yeah. You, you know, that is a show you, you were, you were just talking about Muppet, Muppet babies that when, when I was growing up like that, I, I would literally sing that song like all day, like for, for like the old, the old show. <laughs> that song still gets stuck in my head um and yeah now it will be it will continue to for another decade um yeah didn't you just randomly like burst into my big baby and make your dreams come true and then yeah such and then muppet 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 yes, muppet yes. babies <laughs> 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 oh my god i know some of these shows those theme songs for some some of the old car car tunes like really get in your head like the yeah Mumpa babies and scooby-doo and, and oh my and god like yeah just get into your head and you can't stop like s singing them no they're like literally ingrained into a pathway in your brain and that's it permanently written into code in your brain and not ever going away so 
exactly. It is what it is. Embrace it. Yeah. <laughs> you will always randomly break out into that song. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about like what kind of of music do you like listening to? Like what's on your playlist? I this is so sad, but I rarely get to listen to music these days. Whenever I'm in the car, I will be catching up on news or I will have my kids in the car and my kid loves this podcast called um, Bedtime History. Okay. Um, and so we listen to that a lot, but that's like my time to listen to music, you know? And then like when we, when we listen to music in, you know, when we're eating, it's like, you know, uh, hijacked by the kids. And he's like, he's like, Alexa, he's like, my, this is my son, Dad. She's like, play fart, play the fart song by fart man. And so that's basically on repeat, like any song that has like a fart in it is is what I listen to these days. That's my playlist. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you definitely know a lot about farts now. Yeah, there's so <laughs> many sounds that represent. I, I had no idea. I had no idea the uh, variety <laughs> and the, yeah, it's, <laughs> It, it knows no bound, like no ends. Uh, there's no, no end, um, boundless. Um, but um, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I you know I grew up listening to hip hop. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, because I grew up in New York in the '90s and yeah. uh, like classic, you know, classic hip hop. Um, and then, you know, we really just like eclectic music though. Like we'll listen to like, you know, New Orleans jazz or like, you know, my sister is an amazing artist, um, Skylit Gunner um, oh. on Spotify, um, like S-K-Y-L-E-T Gunner, G-U-N-N-E-R. And um, yeah, so she, she makes great music. And um, I also just rely on her to like play a playlist if we like, if she comes over. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay yeah and and i always ask guests this when i have them on because uh i'm a big i'm a big horror film guy okay do, do you like any horror films and which ones do you watch if you do okay so i think i stopped at Candyman. i don't know if you remember yeah. that terrifying yeah. movie Ugh. um <laughs> So that one, I think I saw too young and it like scared the shit out of me. And like, I just did not enjoy horror after that. Um, however, I did just book um, some ADR work. Uh, so like they have, like you know, this, um, the, the boy who played the, the, the boy who needed an exorcism and like the latest like poltergeist kind of movie. Um, that's out right now with Russell Crowe. Wait a minute, what's today's oh, date? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think I think it's out today. Um, so um, yeah, so 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 they needed like so we had a the the actor had a British accent, so they needed a couple. They needed somebody to like do the match the boy's voice, but with an American accent. So I didn't even know what I had booked. So I went in, and I you the freaking scariest parts of the movie are when this little boy is getting his exorcism and all of a sudden he's like ah! like you know like scratching his face off and I'm just like oh my god and I have to do this so anyway I, so that was the last like horror movie that I saw parts of but I'm like you know what now that like this is I can handle watching this one because I worked okay. on it and okay. I know the scary parts I know it's not real. It's not real because it's me. I did the voice. <laughs> I still have to talk myself out of being scared. So I, I can go see this one. So I'm going to go see that one. I think it's like the the Pope's exorcism. Yes. Yes. With Russell Crowe. I'm going to go see that one. It looks so good. Like I'm, I'm, I'm literally going to go this weekend and say it. And then like Yay. next weekend, the, 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 the evil, the evil dead rise. Like that's another horror that's coming out. Oh, cool. I, I wish I liked horror because it's, it seems so fun, you know, but yeah, 
um, um, but, but when you go to see that the Pope's exorcism, listen for when it, well, I don't know spoilers, but when, when the kid is talking in like a normal way, and then there's like, I did a couple of times where it was like in like a, like an altered way, but, but yeah, that it me. <laughs> And I, I did that scream. There was like a crazy scream. I like messed up my voice for like the next week. It couldn't work for like a week after that. But anyway, <laughs> so I hope you appreciate the scream. <laughs> I, I'm I'm definitely gonna listen for. Yeah, let me know. Like, oh, oh my god, that's the scream that she that that she was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> And is there anything coming up next for you that you want to like plug or anything you're going to be involved in? Um, so I will be going to some conventions coming up, which I'm excited about. I don't know if I'm allowed to like say which ones, but, um, okay. but I will always be posting. I'll be posting on my Instagram, which is at Jessica DiCicco, J-E-S-S-I-C-A-D-I-C-I-C-C-O. And so I have few of those coming up and then like I mean yeah like you know some secret projects that I can't really talk about coming out um video game that I just like reprised a role which is exciting that's coming out um I always book the crazy characters like <laughs> it's like this crazy character um um yeah yeah so I'm excited for all those upcoming things <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Well, well, thanks. Thanks again for this. This has been so much fun chatting. Like, thanks. Thanks for coming on the show and, and, and doing it. And it was good to talk about it, the Italian family. Uh, with their yeah. Family. Thanks for having me. Yeah. And it was so nice to like, I mean, yeah, you're, you're, you just like remind me of like one of my cousins, like at the <laughs> talking, we can argue about sauce versus gravy. <laughs> Who's is better. <laughs> Bobby D, Gary D, Zora, <laughs> or Grandma Helen's. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's so fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks again for doing this. Yeah. Anytime, anytime you want to come back on and talk about anything or awesome. whatever. Awesome. Thanks. Got coming up, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Well, so good seeing you and talk to you soon. It was really good meeting you. Yeah, thanks. It you. was a lot of fun. Yay. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Bye.